Good everyone. My name is Graphics. In this video, we want to study a problem involving projection of solid. Where we'll be looking at a square pyramid, which axis is inclined towards the horizontal plane. And the question goes like this: It says. A square pyramid of 50 millimeter base and 70 millimeter height is resting on its base edge on HP. If the axis is parallel to VP and inclined 45 degree to HP, draw it projection. Like I did in my previous video, let's first of all draw our HP and VP. HP means horizontal plane and VP means vertical plane, right? So I'll take my pencil and I'm going to draw um, the HP plane here, which is this. And the VP plane here, which is this. You can see that and this is where they are meeting and i'll give a distance in between both of them let's say 10 millimeter you can your own can be more or less so i have 10 millimeter from here 10 up and left uh 10 down and what 10 right so i'll take my instrument and draw the a line across those points and also a line across those points and here also do the same thing and here also do the same thing now you need to know anything on this plane the x-axis is said to be hp horizontal plane this is the horizontal plane where anything on the y-axis is what is on the vertical plane right so first of all we said it is a square pyramid now if you look at the right hand side of the screen you see a diagram that shows a square pyramid right different between a pyramid and a a, um, a cone is that their base of a, of, a, of a cone is circular always why that of a pyramid can be any polygon an equilateral triangle a square hexagon pentagon and so on and so forth so with what you can see we we'll start drawing now if you look we we'll start from the plan like i told you earlier we are told that the plan is of 50 millimeter base right so i'll take my compass i'll draw my plan here and i'll measure half of 50 or better still 50 directly from 0 to 5 is 50 and i'll start from here this is my reference point and i'll mark <coughs> right so i'm going to take in it from here to here is 50 Similarly, if from here to here is 50, automatically from here to this point also is 50. And I am going to what? Teaching it. I'm going to what? Teaching it. Similarly, I'll do the same thing at this point here. And I am going to thicken it from here to this point here. And here also, here. Right? So from here, what I'm going to do is I will join all diagonals together. Just like you can see in the diagram. 
all the da diagonal together. So this is the apex point here. Is that okay? Now, I'm going to project this upward. I'll project this upward, including the center point here, the apex. And we are told that this pyramid has an height of what? 70 millimeter, we'll call it the axis, right? 70 what? Millimeter. So measure 70 from this point upward from seven from zero to seven is seventy. You can see that and I'll close it up from here to this point here and from here to this point here. You can see that and I'll close here up. You can see that so what we have here now this is just telling you how the pyramid is you know this side you see is what the axis right so i can call the axis to be here to be p at the base here and here to be what o is that again and we are told that this pyramid was tilted at an angle of what 45 degree to the HP. Is that okay now? So what I'll simply do here is this. I can pick at any distance here. Right? Angle of what? 45 degree. Let me pick a point first of all. And the distance there is from here to here. 50, right? Boys, at an angle of what? 45 degree. So I can take my 45 degree size square. Right? And I'll place it this way. But we are told it is what? 45 degrees. So I just want my diagram to touch my plane. Right? So what I'll do is this. If I take my 45 degrees, I place it on my T-square this way. I'll just draw a line this way. You can see that. So the line I'm drawing there, I'll ensure that if I measure 45, uh, 50 at this point. Now, if you look at this. From this point to this point is what is 50, right? That is what I am going to what ticking. From this point to this point is 50. Let me place it very well. You can see that? That is what? That is 50. The question will be, why am I using 50? This is representing the base of what of my um pyramid so from here to here is equals to from here to here right you must ensure that it's equal to from what from here to here it's not necessarily that it must touch this line right if it touch the line fine if it doesn't touch the line no problem so take care now let's ensure that the angle between here and here let me show you the angle between this point to this point here is what is 45 degree that is what you should know 45 what 45 degree not necessarily in most of this line now move forward now if that is the case if here is my a and here is my b here is o it means that what this point here is a right here this point here is b and here is what is a is that the key? So I want to get point O. So how will I get point O? I'll just place my compass at this point here. You can see that? I'll come to this point. I'll strike an arc. And I'll come to this point also. And I'll strike another arc. Then I'll join from this point here to this point. And from this point here to this point. You can see that? So I can still come to this point here to get the axis from here to here. You will see my chain from here to here. And that is my point P. 
Now those join it to the center. I can use my faint line this way. Right? So it should be perpendicular to that point. Is that taken? Now the next thing that we're going to do here is we start projecting them down. We start what? Projecting them down this way. That point. I'll bring this down. I'll bring this down. And I'll bring this down. It's already down. Then this. And I'm going to take all this to this point here. This is the center here. Right? And I'll take all this here. And all this. And I'll bring this. To what we have here. So what we should just do here is to join those points together. So if here is B, C, D, and A, right? So it means that look at what will now happen. This point here will now be A what? A D. I can put A comma D. Here will be B C. Here will be what? B comma C. Is that again? So here also will be what? A comma what? D. Here will be what? B comma what? C. Because this base is the same base here. So if I bring it down. Where A meet A is at this point. This is the line of A. Then where D meet D is at this point. This is the line of D. Where B meet B, B and A on the same point. And where C meet C, C at this point here. So what I'm going to do is I will tick in them. So from here, I will tick in from here to here. Right? I will also tick in from here to here. I also take in from here to here, but this point here will be a hidden line, which I will show you how it is an hidden line. So here should be more of an hidden line, right? So I'm going to now join each of those points to the apex. So here to here will be taken. Here to here will be taken. Here to here will be thickened. Here to here will be thickened. Right? And this is my O. Here is still my O. Right? This is where A and A. This is A. This is B. This is D. And this is what? C. So this is what we have here. Right? So it is tilted at an angle of what? 45 degree. So to the horizontal plane, HP. You need to understand that this is a square pyramid. If you want to watch the video on a cone, you can click on this link at the top right corner of the screen or you wait to the end of the screen to click on the end screen. So if you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to like subscribe and also share the video thanks for watching